Of course, of course. Yesterday, we all know the shutdown ended. And there's always a lot of debate about who wins one of these. Uh, but not this time. Democrats lost. Uh, or did they? <laughs> yeah, they lost. <laughs> and with the government up and running, Trump got back to the important work of trolling a cable news reporter. Even crazy Jim Acosta of fake news CNN agrees. Trump world and White House sources dancing in end zone. Trump wins again. Schumer and Dems caved, gambled and lost. Thank you for your honesty, Jim. <laughs> Which is it? Is he an honest newsman or is he crazy Jim? <laughs> Thank you for your honesty, you lying crazy lunatic. I look forward to more truthful praise from garbage bag Jim Acosta <laughs> and fire hose of lies CNN. Keep up the good work, Levdani. <laughs> and. <laughs> and today, 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 we're finding out that the White House handled the shutdown with a simple strategy keep. Trump contained. <laughs> That's not easy. No, just ask his tennis shorts. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay, fine, Jake. Hey. So, they kept him as far away from the negotiation as possible. But while Trump was sidelined, he was still following news about the shutdown. In fact, when the president saw a photo in a news story that appeared to show a memorial closed, a staffer was sent to the Washington Mall only to find out that it was a stock photo taken in 2013. <laughs> Oh, my God, I just saw on TBS that the Statue of Liberty is, like, half buried in sand at the beach. I want to negotiate with the head ape right now, okay? <laughs> the chimp in charge. Get me Dr. Zayas on the phone. By the way, Dr. Zayas says I'm 6'3", 239 pounds. <laughs> and there's Mano a monkey. And as always, Donald Trump was watching a lot of cable news, so the White House made sure that senior administration officials were on television pushing the president's message so he would not see negative coverage that made him more inclined to strike a deal with Democrats. To make sure he watched the things that made him happy, they gave him his special remote. <laughs> but, yes, oh. yes. He borrowed it from Ted Cruz, actually. But if Trump didn't end the shutdown, who did? Evidently, it was negotiated by a group of at least two dozen senators who began meeting late last week in the office of Maine senator and oldest woman ever to play Annie, Susan Collins. <laughs> <laughs> the sun will come out. That's a hard knock life. Apparently, I don't know why picking on her. Apparently, in the meetings uh, to try and keep the peace, Collins wouldn't let any senator in the room talk unless they were holding a talking stick. <laughs> yes. And by talking stick, we don't mean Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. <laughs> now, it sounds like our government is being run on kindergarten rules, but it goes all the way back to our founding fathers. I mean, Patrick Henry famously declared, give me liberty or give me the talking stick. I'm sorry, I need the stick, thank you. Death! <laughs> and... There, see, I have to... You gotta sell it! You gotta sell it with sizzle! Broadway! <laughs> and Collins was so proud of her talking stick, she went on CNN for a little stick talk. What is a talking stick? Well, I can show it Whoa. to you. And as you can see, it's beautifully beaded. And uh, it was given to me by my friend, Democratic Senator Heidi Heitkamp of North Dakota. Mm -hmm. And it is originally from Africa. Yes. <laughs> yes. As lawmakers discussed immigration and the future of our government, the only minority in the room was a stick. <laughs> and... And obviously, you'd think a bunch of powerful adults could play a kid's game without things getting ugly, but not so fast. 
because at one point, Senator Lamar Alexander of Tennessee forcefully tossed the stick towards Senator Mark Warner of Virginia, nearly shattering a glass elephant belonging to Collins. Wow! A heated discussion almost destroyed the symbol of the Republican Party. I think the full details are available in this month's issue of Heavy Handed Metaphor Magazine. <laughs> Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now it's your turn to thank me. Click subscribe, and at the end of the next video, I'll thank you again.